Shark Tank trainer, and we're going to turn this over to Jenny Cheatham. All right. So guys, we are going to talk about shark tanks and sharks. Um, I tried to Google sharks today and find something nice and friendly about sharks. It's not out there. Um, I tried to Google something about sharks and about how they work as a team. They don't. But what they do is they know who they are and they know what they're in control of and they have a mindset that you just have to get out of their way and let them control their own space and everything else. So what we're going to talk about tonight is how to have the mindset of a shark. Um, first off, sharks don't settle. Okay, sharks do not settle for anything. They take charge and they go where they want to go and they do what they want to do. So if you take charge of you, right, you can control. There are things in your life you can't control, obviously, but you can always control how you react to everything. So you can control your decisions. You can control how much time and effort you put into your business, or you can control how much time and effort you put into your family. Thanks everybody for liking my glasses, you're awesome. Um, and you can control your mindset, okay? That positive forward motion, ride the wave, enjoy the journey mindset, you can hang on to that no matter what else is happening. Sometimes you have to take a deep breath, and remember that you have to ride the wave and enjoy the journey, but you really can do it. And that is all you. That's all you, your mindset, your attitude, okay? Your moment by moment attitude. And a lot of times we have to catch ourselves and kind of change the vibe of what's going on in our head because it's easy to get distracted or annoyed by something. But again, that is something you can control. And just like a shark, you have to learn to control that and, and just get right back to where you need to be. Um, the other big thing, this is a really big thing with me, you guys. I've, I've gone into how people like to be treated a lot. And you can control how you treat other people. No matter what else is going on, you can control that. So people want to do business with someone that they like and someone that they trust, right? Someone who believes in what they're doing. Have you ever been with, a, with anybody, actually, a salesperson especially, that doesn't like the product they're selling? Okay, I sold insurance for a long time. Life insurance? No, it was accident insurance, actually. It was the worst stuff ever. It was absolutely useless. And I didn't realize that when I first started because they told me how great it was and I believed them. But once I started selling it and I was making really good money, I realized that I was selling people things that they could never use and that they were just giving me money for something that was never gonna do them any good. And when I realized that and that got in my head, I couldn't sell it anymore. I wasn't any good anymore. Up until that point, I could have sold it to anybody. I couldn't sell it anymore because I knew that I wasn't being fair to them. I wasn't being someone they can trust. And that's not, that's not who I am. Um, I remember when I first started in Tupperware, well, not first started, but after I'd been in Tupperware for a while, I was talking to a friend and I was telling him about Tupperware and telling him, you know, what we had and what we could do. And he goes, you're really excited for somebody that's peddling plastic. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm not peddling plastic. I am helping people solve their problems. Okay, because we do that all the time. We help them with food storage. We help them with the grocery bill. Um, we help them save money. We help them make money, okay? You can help give people their quality family time. Um, and you can help give people the self-confidence that maybe they don't have in themselves. So it's way more than about the plastic. And that's what he said. He goes, oh, well, that's pretty cool. I just thought it was about a bunch of plastic bowls. And I was like, no, the bowls are like a sideline of everything else that we can do in Tupperware. But you have to be passionate about it. You have to believe in what you're doing. And I was thinking about people that are passionate about things today and, you know, well, what if you don't know what you're passionate about and how do you talk to somebody? So 
this is the example I came up with because it's kind of close to home. Um, if you talk to somebody about sports teams, okay? If you wanna see a passionate discussion, tell a Cleveland Browns fan how amazing the Pittsburgh Steelers are, okay? That will start a passionate discussion. Doesn't have to be nasty, but it will start a passionate discussion, okay? And it's kind of like talking <laughs> to somebody at a Tupperware party that says, oh, I don't use plastic, I only use glass, okay? There is no conversation you're going to have in the next five minutes that's going to change that person's mind. But like with the Steelers and Browns fans, you can find common ground, okay? If you have a Steelers and Browns fan that just cannot agree on anything, bring up the Baltimore Ravens. All of a sudden, they have plenty of common ground, okay? If you have somebody that wants glass and not plastic, bring up our echo um our echo line the no waste the multiple time use for the plastic because everybody agrees with that you don't have to make them see it your way but you can agree to disagree with that and they'll respect that and then whenever they do realize that tupperware has some things that they want they will be willing to talk to you and maybe become one of your great customers because you didn't stand there and argue with them and just try and tell them they were wrong that's, we'll go back to the Steelers Brown thing way later on that. Um, but you have to be respectful of your customers, okay? And your team and just people that you meet in general because the way that you portray yourself and the way you come across is what people are gonna think about you. And a lot of times their first impression is the only impression they're going to get. So we have to choose how we're gonna treat people. Okay, and that's one of the things we can choose. So we have to choose people over profit. And I say that because if you do that, the profit will come. If you treat people the way you're supposed to treat people, your business will be great. Okay, Brownie Wise said, if you build the people, the people will build the business. And it's so true. Um, and then you can, you know, just think, what can I do to make a difference? in somebody's life today, in the person that I'm talking to, what can I do to make a difference in their life? Because again, no one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. And what we do just speaks way louder than what we say. You can say anything, but if you don't back it up with the way you act, it doesn't mean a thing. So sharks know who they are. They know what their territory is. They know that they can accomplish anything they want to. And you just have to get that mindset that you're a shark. Know who you are, figure out what you're passionate about. Know what your, Ellen's, my favorite words that Ellen says all the time is know what your core values are. And once you've got that all figured out, live that. And that is gonna be a great way to start your Shark Tank experience and get people to want to come along and play in your shark tank. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Loved it. All right. Thank you, Jenny. Um